Hello to our dear friends and our beautiful souls watching a new episode of Positive Living. Let's start off with a story today. An African-American Muslim mother had just lost her son to gang-related activity. She lost the dearest thing, the dearest person she had in her life. Now in court, she turned to her son's murderer and told him, I forgive you. I'm here to give you a second chance. I do not hold grudges against you anymore, but instead I want you to take this opportunity as a second chance from God to make better with your life. And she's even asked the judge to pardon him from a life sentence. This is the epitome of what it means to forgive another. And now this situation is really as bad as it can get. She lost the dearest thing in her life and yet she still found the space within her to forgive. I was once told a phrase years ago, being angry or holding a grudge against someone else is like drinking poison and wishing that toxicity in the person whom you are angry at. It makes no sense to hold a grudge and bitterness within you. And sometimes when you forgive, it really means that you are freeing yourself from that anger, from that bitterness, from that grudge. And it's sometimes all you need to be able to move forward and continue living in peace with yourself. And that is very important in living towards a more positive life. Hi beautiful souls and welcome back to a new episode of Positive Living. I hope that so far you're making your day a great day. Today my topic is very intense. It's about forgiveness and it's a topic that a lot of people do not pay attention for because they think that forgiveness comes in many ways that are very irrational when you think about it. Forgiveness is vital for you to move on and there is no way that you can move on without forgiving if there is one thing that i regret in my life it would be the times that i was not forgiving or forgiving enough i used to be brutal when it comes to not forgiving and everyone around me used to call me heartless if someone does me any wrong and I just decide not to forgive them because I completely misunderstood what the true essence of forgiveness is I used to think that if I forgive the person then I would be letting go of my strong character persona and I used to believe that if I do forgive someone who was harsh to me or wasn't nice or that truly hurt me, then that's a way of accepting them back into my life. And I used to think that it's me letting down my guard and it's me letting go of my pride and it used to kill my ego if I would think that I'm gonna forgive someone who did me wrong. And that's why if I truly regret something, then it's not being forgiving enough. But then again, it's not very accurate to say that I regret it because all the decisions and actions that I have made and taken in the past are what made me the person that I am today. And they got me to the conclusion that there is nothing more beautiful than forgiveness. But unfortunately, I learned that forgiveness is the only way for me to move on and to have the peaceful, happy life that I had always worked hard for the very hard way. I learned that forgiveness is vital when I got hurt for the second time identical to the first time that was in the past. Because basically I didn't forgive the first time and that's why I had gone through a second identical time but this time it was even harsher and harder and the pain was unbearable. And that's because I had unfinished business with the past. I used to think that, actually I used to say it, that I do forgive, but I never forget. And there's no such thing as that. You can't really forgive and not forget. 
Because when you forgive, you have this peaceful feeling inside of you every time you remember the trauma or every time you remember the incident or every time you remember the person that scarred you. And I got to learn that there's no such thing as someone who's capable of scarring you for life. Because if the scar is still there, then you haven't forgiven. There's a huge difference between forgiving and forgetting and letting go. And between forgiving but not forgetting. Because that's just your way of justifying why you're not forgiving. So you go like, because I don't want to remember, I don't want to forget, sorry, the mistake that the person had done to me so that it wouldn't happen again. The only way for that mistake or that hurt to not take place again is if you forgive and you let go of the hurt. As long as you're holding on to the hurt, it will always be there. Pure law of attraction. I'll be telling you more about the topic of forgiveness after the break. Please stay tuned. Hi beautiful souls and welcome back. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Now before the break I was talking about forgiveness and about how hurtful and harmful it would be for the future if you decide to keep on holding on to the hurt from the past and how I suffered not once but twice from the same hurt just because I held on to the first one that was in the past. There is a great myth about forgiveness which is we go like yes I forgave but I'm not gonna forget, but it's okay, I let go, it's in the past now. It's not in the past. You are stuck in the past as long as you are refusing to forgive the person that did you wrong. And let's be realistic. I make a lot of mistakes and I do hurt people a lot of times with no intention and I definitely would want people to forgive me for those mistakes. So, rationally, I have to do the same. Because I get very amazed from people who refuse to forgive other people, but still they ask for forgiveness. I'm here to tell you today that it's absolutely okay to forgive. Because I remember very well that I was grudging so much against someone and I wasn't able to forgive that person. Until I was talking about it to someone else and they told me, by the way, you can forgive and you can always take them back. All it took was for one person to tell me that I'm allowed to forgive such a huge mistake. Another incident is when people say that, no, I can't forgive him or her because I haven't gotten my closure yet. I also got to know that just the same way forgiveness is about you and not about the other person. Closure is also about you and not about the other person. Not forgiving is, as Nelson Mandela said, you are the one drinking the poison and you're expecting your enemy to die from it. Not forgiving means that you will always be grudging against the person every time you remember them and you can remember them your whole life. Do you truly want to live your life grudging against someone? Because in reality, you are not grudging against that person. You are grudging against yourself. You're holding on to hurt that, and you're just trying so hard to hug that hurt. You don't know that it's actually a cactus that will keep poking you in the heart, poking you in the heart, until truly, truly, shatters your heart everywhere. Please forgive, please forget. You are allowed to forgive, you are allowed to forget and forgiving the person does not mean that you are welcoming them once again to your life. It just means that you're letting go of the hurt and that you're choosing yourself and your peace of mind and your happiness over the past. Do not stay stuck in the past and carry extra weight. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you make your day a great day.